Well, by this weekend, it actually is going to feel like fall, and Lewis Skinner Botanical Garden hosts their Harvest and Oktoberfest celebrations, and you're all invited. Oh, my gourd, it's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here to tell us all about the exciting event is Grace Elton, Horticultural Director at the Garden. Good to see you again, Grace. Good to see you, Thanks too. Thanks for bringing the gourds yeah, in. Yeah, all so, kinds of fun stuff. Uh, this weekend, you've got a fun event. It's called Goblins and Gourds, mm -hmm. and this is going to be so much fun. Well, this is a wonderful family event. Yep. You're going to see lots of really cool gourds and pumpkins and squash, like the ones in front of us here. Um, some of them are edible that you'd be... Uh, really familiar with. Here's a butternut squash. We've got spaghetti squash and what pumpkins. Is, what is this That's guy? That's a winged that gourd. Isn't it funky? Wait, it looks like it's about to take shout. flight. <laughs> it's a winged gourd. Uh -huh. It looks like it maybe didn't grow right, but that's the way it's supposed to look. That's the way it's supposed to I've look. I've seen one of those. It's very cool. Yeah. Okay. And so you're going to have all kinds of gourds there and uh, people to take a look at. There's storytelling for the kids. Mm -hmm. This is a great thing for the kids to get them out and let them run around, run down that motor a little bit and yeah. see some things they probably don't see on an everyday basis. Yeah. We also have some demonstrations. We have blacksmithing and some wood carving demonstrations. Uh, we also have the Indigenous Gourd Orchestra, which is one of my favorite groups. <laughs> If you They're haven't just, seen that oh. band, you've got to see them. I mean, you, you can't just hear them. you got to see them. Oh, yeah. It's an experience. They play gourds. They wear gourds on yep. their bodies. Yeah. And it's the Indigenous Gourd Orchestra. Yep. And, and they're it, also going to lead a parade. And it's too. really gourd, too. Mm -hmm. They're really gourd. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> There's the Scarecrow, Scarecrow Quest. Tell us about that. What does that mean? Well, we've dressed up lots of scarecrows in different environmental and outdoor professions. So we've got a beekeeper scarecrow, we have a gardener scarecrow, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go on a quest where the kids will get a sheet and they should be looking for specific scarecrows. So oh. it'll be a really fun scavenger hunt for them. Maybe next year you could do a disc jockey scarecrow. I yeah. could be there live and in person. Perfect. To scare, scare people. <laughs> all right, uh, what is this thing in the bowl? What is what are all these little things here? This is something really exciting. These are actually hops. So this is the flower of the hops plant, and this is what gives the hoppy flavor to beer, and it helps preserve it as well. So we actually grew these hops at the garden this year, and it's been a partnership through Lewis Ginter and um, Center of the Universe Brewing. So they came and planted the hops for us. Uh, we've had them for two years now, and they are going to use the hops that we harvested to flavor a beer that we'll be serving for our Oktoberfest um, uh, uh, event that's mm -hmm. in, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Okay, so, uh, all right, I'm kind of su surprised a little bit, A, that you grew hops uh -huh. at Lewis Kenner, but it makes all the sense in the world because with all these local breweries popping up, they're going to need it. This could be a money crop for y'all from now on. I said, right, so, um, <laughs> let's talk about the next weekend because we already talked about this, the Goblins Gourds uh, event and the Scarecrows and all of that. Oktoberfest is uh, coming up the next weekend after yeah, that. Yeah, that should be a really fun event where you can actually try the beer that was uh, flavored with the hops that we grew. Mm -hmm. There are also some contests, there are raffles, um, and we actually have a, a part of the raffle will support Feed More. So if you bring a canned good, then you'll get a free raffle ticket. Okay, and there's games and prizes mm -hmm. and all kinds of things that you always do. And local food provided by, you're going to have food there to snack on a little yep, bit? Yep, yeah, and food tasting by Relay Foods. Okay. And, um, and also some really good uh, German. Okay. Yeah, really so, um, Megan, on the floor here, it said these things taste terrible. Have you ever eaten one of them? I've never eaten one. I've, I've had one floated in a beer. I think it was just kind of a garnish, though. But mm -hmm. they do give the, the flavor, the hoppy flavor. Okay. And if you crack one open, you can uh -huh. really see the hops. It's all the, it's really the pollen inside. So oh, you it see, smells like beer it smells when you like crack beer. it open. Yep. Yeah, really strong, strong smell, well, and it's that yeah. pollen. Now, see, Greg would just take the dare. And, and say, <laughs> she says it tastes terrible, I'm going to find out. I'm not great. Uh. <laughs> I trust her. She says it tastes terrible. I'm not going to eat it on TV and then be all grossed out and everything. Uh, but you can come out to Lewis Skinner Botanical Garden and uh, see the hops as it's growing. Now, what is the growing season on hops, just for me? Um, so they will go dormant in the winter. Mm -hmm. um, it's a rhizome that, that survives underground over the winter. And then they're long vines, so we have them up on trellises. Hops can grow pretty tall, uh, but you can actually make a trellis at your own home. And there are actually some cultivars that are 
that are really nice, like with chartreuse foliage that are, are oh, a nice ornamental. Cool. All right, and mm -hmm. they look great over at Lewis Ginner, and you're supplying the local beer mix. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you so much. All right, come on out to Lewis Ginner Botanical Garden this Sunday, October 23rd, for the Goblins and Gourds event mm -hmm. from 1 till 4, and their Oktoberfest celebration, which is the following Saturday, October 29th, from... 11 until 4. Enjoy all the festivities at the 1800 Lakeside Avenue address in Richmond. We'll post a link on our show website and all the details at wtvr.com slash vtm. And we hop to see you on the, <laughs> on the other side. We hop to see you. We'll be right back.